is this singular soul that hath the power to free a sovereign of hell from mine eternal chains? You. Of course. Who else could it be? You've been a real thorn in my side. You know that? And speaking as the only demon in the room, poking and prodding at people is supposed to be my job. Think fast. Angel food cake or devil's food cake? No pressure. Your answer will only determine how easy or hard it will be for me to muster up affection for you going forward. We both know what you want to say to me. So, go on. Say it. You think I'm hot as hell. <laughs> now, if you really want to rev my infernal engine, you can tell me what circle of hell you think I'm as hot as. Just because we're demons doesn't mean our dealings, dalliances, and long-term, low-commitment booty calls with mortals aren't all mutually beneficial. It's succub us, not succub I. Well, okay, technically in the plural... You get the idea. I admit, my time as a succubus has largely been spent in upper, or should that be lower, management. I'm not sure I've ever been in the field. Is it always this cold up here? You're always poking and prodding me. Are you looking for an internship in hell? Because I suspect your talents would be wasted down there. Oh my... Oh, is this an offering? For me? I don't like it. Try again. For millennia, I enjoyed the comforts of my throne in hell, sending my vast, sexy armies to do my dark bidding. But there was one soul even my strongest soldiers could not sup upon. Yours. I knew eventually I would have to come up here and deal with you personally, but that was supposed to be next Eon Desdemona's problem. Now I come to find you summoned me here yourself? What kind of glutton for punishment are you? Come closer now. I want to get a proper look at you. I'd say I don't bite, but we both know that's not true. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for the oldest profession, of course. But for succubi, bumping uglies is not work. We are artists, and our medium is the body. Would you call Michelangelo a house painter because he did a ceiling once? It's only natural that you desire to worship me, but take care to be a good little mortal, and make sure your religious recitations are backwards, or else I'll have to smite you. That's right, you'll be sleeping on the couch. You have a certain... eager-to-please air about you, like you do anything I require in order to increase my affection for you. Makes me wish I wore thigh-high boots for you to lick. But I'm sure we can come up with an adequate substitute. I am the mother of all succubi. Not literally, but still. I suppose that makes me the ultimate milf. If you're so keen to touch me, you could start by asking nicely. Maybe then I'll show you what I really like. Oh my... Oh, is this an offering? For me? I don't like it. Try again. History has seen fit to mark me by many an infamous appellation. Aishith Zeninim, Mystery, the Mother of Abominations, the Rhymes with Shore of Babylon. Never liked the judgy tone of that last one. But you will address me by the only name I ever chose for myself. Desdemona. I plucked it from the pages of a delightful little play which I saw in its first run. They ought to have called me the Patron of the Arts of Babylon, but I suppose that's a bit of a mouthful. Do you always squirm so deliciously when all-powerful immortals lay eyes on you? Or is it just me? 
Oh, who's a squirmy little wormy? You are. Now, give mommy a taste of that yummy gummy worm. If I told you I wanted to do sacrilegious things to your body, would you hold it against me? If not, that's fine, too. Several of my spicier ideas can also be executed at a distance. You want me to say what? Ara Ara? Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Ara Ara. That Palmu girl you consort with has a real flair for chaos and other assorted acts of naughtiness. She'd make a very good demon, if I do say so myself. I'm not like other demons. I can give you anything you desire. But only if you beg me for it. Not because I'm reluctant to share my many, many gifts with you. I just love hearing mortals beg. What gave you the idea I'd want this? You must be confusing me with some other demonic entity. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm not sure if this is much of an improvement, but at least I can tell you tried really hard to please me. Ask any demon. All of humanity's greatest geniuses now call hell home. Picasso? Perv. Einstein? Adulterer. James Joyce? Jaywalker. Also, he had a total fart fetish. It's THE place to be if you have a taste for the finer things in afterlife. Like me. Or should that be, like I do? <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves, it's absolutely both. <laughs> Are you here to pay me tribute? Goody, I'm having ever so much fun coming up with arbitrary lists of demands. It's not that I need to be taken to the beach 666 times. I just love how happy you look after you do as you're told. I'm not bad. I'm just spawned that way. At least when you summoned me, you performed the ritual correctly. One wrong syllable, and I may have wound up trapped in the form of a hellhound. So long to my eons as a succubus. Dogs are just too pure-hearted for us to turn. Is it true? Do demon slayers really muzzle us and keep us in boxes? We're evil, not feral! Unless... If it's rough play that you're into, then you should know I prefer to be on the other side of the equation. Careful I don't singe your widow hands. I've been known to run hot. Careful I don't singe your widow hands. I've been known to run hot. Oh my. What gave you the idea I'd want this? You must be confusing me with some other demonic entity. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm not sure if this is much of an improvement, but at least I can tell you tried really hard to please me. Like all my succubi forces before me, I came here on a mission. To seduce and ensnare you, once and for all. But don't mistake my determination for desperation. I am not and have never been thirsty. A queen knows she need only wait, and her wine will be poured. And when it is, trust me, I shall drink of you it deeply. Oh, if only there were someone on this mortal plane worthy of giving me a foot rub. If only someone could prove themselves to me that they might be rewarded with the gift of serving me. I adore all the lusty ladies you surround yourself with. Such a bevy of beauties, a variety of vixens, a harem of hotties, a wagon load of waifus. <clears throat> Are any of them looking for a side hustle? Demons never chase our prey. We'd have to work on our stamina for that, and if there's one thing we loathe, 
It's exercise. I feel myself growing far too familiar with you as of late. It's seriously undermining my position of authority. I know. You will act as my footrest for the next hour and a half while I play my naughty phone games. That ought to do it. Why do you mortals refer to unpleasant or difficult tasks as a devil of a time? Offering to make things easier and more fun for you is literally our whole thing. I met a rabbit named Lilith today. Imagine a lonely prey animal having the hubris to take the name of a ruler of hell. Such flagrant disrespect for the order of things. I'm delighted. Now, if she'd called herself Desdemona, I'd have to burn her to ashes. Hmm. I changed my mind. I don't want this anymore. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? You're ever so good at fetching me things. That's more like it, yes. Now, doesn't that feel so much more rewarding than if you'd gotten it right the first time without any challenge? Now you can cross Danced with the Devil in the Pale Moonlight off your bucket list. The first of many wishes I'll grant for you, I'm sure. Despite certain rumors about bodily fluids, we succubi actually feed off of the intense emotions that follow from lust. Obsession, possessiveness, but shame especially. It's so all-consuming, it eats you up inside. And then, we eat. Which is why you were such a tough nut for us to crack. You don't feel guilty about your carnal appetites, no matter how voracious or varied. I must say, I find it rather... intriguing. And impressive. From a professional standpoint, obviously. If it isn't the funniest little mortal I ever had the pleasure of leading to temptation. What sorts of debauchery shall we get up to together this time? Don't disappoint me now. If I found myself a little angelic plaything on the side, then that would make for some very good omens. I've been brainstorming ways for you to serve me, but I'm a giver, not a taker. So I'd like to know which of the following best appeals to you. Waiting on me hand and foot, serving as my stress ball and or whipping marshmallow, warming my bed. I just learned of the phrase, dirty pillows, and I must tell you, I am offended. I keep my breasts, along with the rest of my body, meticulously clean. You can see for yourself when you give me a luxurious sponge bath later. I never knew that my wings resembled those of a cute little creature that is native to the mortal plane. I suppose we can add that out of hell to my list of monikers. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is some form of treason, I'm sure. <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't tempt you to take a bite of my juicy plump apple. When one has been witness to creation as I have, a mortal such as yourself seems so small. Small, but not insignificant, as I once thought, before I met you. Small like a seed, precious, in need of nurturing, capable of untold growth. What is this feeling? I don't understand it. Like, I want to protect you. Preposterous! I am a queen of hell! Oh, hello! How are you? I'm very well, thank you! I... I don't know why I said all that. I always found it so satisfying to pair each succubus with her ideal mortal thrall. I never imagined I'd be in a position of getting entangled with a mortal myself. Not that I feel like I've bitten off more than I can chew or anything like that. What do you think? Am I showing enough skin? I would hate to not be a distraction. Why am I so tongue-tied around you lately? That's not the sort of tying I'm into. Or the sort of tonguing, for that matter. 
I'm starting to feel really at home here among you mortals. Your lot don't say, I love you. You say, step on me. And I think that's beautiful. I've specialized in lust for so long. I've completely neglected my mastery of the other deadly sins. If I had you lick chocolate sauce off of my body, would that count as gluttony? Or would it still fall under lust? Hmm. I most certainly did not blush when you touched my hand just now. That's just my coloring. My skin is naturally rosy-toned. In fact, I'm pink in all sorts of fun places. I do so admire your tenacity when it comes to paying me tribute. Why don't you demonstrate it to me once more by bringing me a different offering? You do want to please me, don't you? Very good. You please me very, very much. You should be proud. Letting those gales of wind lift me by my wings and carry me away was so fun. I didn't even realize there was a use for wind outside of tormenting lustful souls. I hunger for you. And what's more, I sense in you a longing to be devoured in turn. So why am I suddenly powerless to do what I was made for? Why now that I have you within my infernal grasp, do my claws tremble and withdraw when all my victory would take is for me to reach out and stroke you? What have you done to me? Of course I wasn't waiting here for you to get back. I'm a very busy demoness. In fact, seducing you is so far down my to-do list that I had to inscribe it on the back of my stone tablet. Have you ever kissed a demon with tongue? Then you're in for a treat. It's gonna blow your forking mind. Thick thighs save lives, but I only deal in immortal souls. Which must be why mine are extra thick. I'll deny it no longer. I've grown closer to you than any other soul. Which is why I need to tell you something very personal. I love country music. You may have summoned me here, but you didn't break my chains. That was Shania saying, let's go girls. You certainly know how to caress a demoness. And apparently, I know my way around a rhyme. <laughs> I still think we should have gone to the seedier theater in the bad part of town. But the company was sufficiently titillating on its own. And we did get to sit in the back row. I know you think my sudden inability to act cool around you is a sign that I must be flustered by these new feelings for you, but it's actually all part of an elaborate power play. I'd tell you what it is, but that would ruin my tactical advantage. In fact, it's so brilliant and wicked that to even give you a hint would probably overheat your mortal brain. It'd be like looking into the lost ark. So you see, I'm actually doing you a favor by not telling you. You're welcome. There you are, my pet. I hope you brought your... appetite. Oh, Wormy, you are so close. It almost hurts me to turn this down. Almost. But don't lose heart. I think you might finally get it right next time. See? I told you that you'd get it right this time. And you did. I know it sometimes seems like I'm a bit hard on you, but that's just because I believe in you enough to hold you to a higher standard. Oh, oh, you sir. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Before you, I wasn't even sure Succubi could fall in love. I told myself I was fine with that. That I wasn't missing out on anything all that special, just a slightly less sinful cocktail of all the same brain chemicals that make up lust. What about that could possibly measure up to my power as a hedonistic queen of hell? And then, I met you. 
and got to know you. Like, really know you. Not in the biblical sense. And I'm so thankful. You showed me how wrong I was. Because I love you. Aha! It worked! I had a hunch that since you were able to summon me by thrice repeating Bloody Mary, then I would be able to do the same saying Bloody Marshmallow. And I was right. An entire season dedicated to greed and gluttony and lying to children. It really is the most wonderful time of the year. I couldn't step foot in a chapel for us to be married, but who cares? You're still my one and only, and living in sin with you is going to be so much more fun. Oh, don't be shy. A little more of that, and I might just tickle you back. Teacher's pet? Oh, no, no, no. I'll be the one doing the petting here, my little worm. Cleanliness may be close to godliness, but fastidiousness is close to faustliness. So? Thank you. For showing me what a loving touch feels like. My, don't I look so juicy. Good enough to eat, even. Would I still love you if you were a worm? Well, you are a worm, so yes. Oh, don't be shy. Uh, you certainly know how to caress a demoness. And apparently, I know my way around a rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play that naughty role-playing game where we pledge bonds of ownership over one another forever and ever. Of course, I would have thought such a ceremony involved collars, not rings, but when in Rome... I used to think there wasn't a snowball's chance in hell I would ever fall in love. And yet... Here we are, my little snowball. You even look like one. Everyone in hell is so intimidated by me, I forgot how fun it was to be touched with such gleeful disrespect. Do it again, <laughs> if you dare. Aha! It worked! I had a hunch that since you were able to summon me by thrice repeating Bloody Mary, then I would be able to do the same saying Bloody Marshmallow. And I was right. Mmm, yes. The lustful energy you're giving off right now would be enough to recharge my hell phone ten times over. Or we could find a better use for it. If I weren't so possessive of you, I'd say you'd be a prime candidate for my army. You're so sexy, you're actually irresistible. Everyone in hell is so intimidated by me, I forgot how fun it was to be touched with such gleeful disrespect. Do it again, <laughs> if you dare. It's as Lucifer Morningstar said. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you're good, then we can spend the day in bed. If you're very good, we can spend the week in bed. If you're bad, we will also spend the week in bed. Hmm. I didn't think that one through, did I? You certainly know how to caress a demoness. And apparently, I know my way around a rhyme. <laughs> I couldn't step foot in a... Lick my boots. Oh, I'm still not wearing boots? Well, that sounds like a you problem, doesn't it? 
What's the point of having a throne if you haven't got someone to share it with? Well, share might not be quite the right word to describe having you, my loyal lover, at my feet. I took the liberty of calling a repairman about your hot tub. It doesn't even go above 103 degrees Fahrenheit. If I'm not boiling alive, I want your money back. You're mine, come hell or high water. Though, one of those things is significantly easier to deal with for a person in my position. I'm used to people undressing me with their eyes, but the way you look at me, it's like you strip me down to the tenderest, most vulnerable part of me, beyond even nakedness. I feel no longer merely lusted after, but finally seen. I thought just for a change of pace, I would pamper you for once. Now, how... Um... How should I start? I just love being around you. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing. We could be running your little mortal... Um... What's that word? Errors? That's not it. Errands! We could be running errands and it wouldn't matter so long as we're together. I sampled deviled eggs today, and I found the taste... heavenly? And now I don't know what to think. I command you to hold me during this confusing time. <sighs> That's better. Have you made me any offerings lately? Don't tell me you only buy me gifts when there is something to be gained from it. Perhaps you should buy me some mystic slippers right now just to prove that isn't the case. I was so busy making you give me what I wanted. I never gave you the chance to show me what you knew I really needed. Thank you. You spoil me. I know I should be used to this sensation, but now it's... different, somehow. You can take the demon out of the hellfire, but you can't take the hellfire out of the demon. That's why I wear so little clothes. I overheat too easily otherwise. Also, it's more fun. Mm -mm -mm. You look scrumptious. Let's lick each other and see if the snozberries taste like snozberries. It's true that as a ruler, as a manager, even as a lover, I can be a bit of an A-type personality. But, you know what they say, the devil's in the details. I've been thinking about taking up roller derby. I'd go by the name Hell on Wheels. Have you ever just cuddled, with no expectations of things going any further? Is it nice? I think I'd like to try it. I mean, you will cuddle with me. Now, please. I was a fool to ever believe that worship without love could be anything but empty flattery. To be with someone who gives you both is to truly experience the divine. Thank you. I would say you've melted my heart, but my heart was never made of ice. I mean, how would that even work? We've already established I'm hot as hell. You're mine, come hell or high water. Though, one of those things is significantly easier to deal with for a person in my position. I've trained so many generations of succubi in the ways of seduction, but now, I think I'd like to bring you on as a guest instructor. You obviously know a thing, R69. You are the sulfuric backdraft beneath my wings. You look even yummier than usual today. Did you do something different with your appearance, or am I just having a craving? That's it. Come lay your head on mommy's bosom and tell her all about your day. I have memorized the sound of your footsteps, so do not think you can sneak up on me. Anytime you think you've succeeded, I want you to know that it is only because I graciously allowed you to do so. Quickly now, I've been waiting ages for you to give me a foot rub. 
Chop, chop. Let's do something hedonistic and utterly depraved. And eat whipped cream straight out of the can. You could do so much better than her. I'm just saying. Hmm. Your friend could actually be average looking if she just changed up her hairstyle. And pick a different outfit. And learn how to do her makeup. When I find out who the little troll is that keeps replying to my thirst traps on Instagram with Boar of Babylon, there will be hell to pay. Literally. Someone filled my water bottle with holy water. Luckily, I had one of my imp underlings serve as my food taster, or else I may have had my tongue burnt off. And what a shame that would be. Succubi specialize in pleasure. And pain as pleasure, of course. But every so often, I meet a mortal who really makes me wish I'd taken at least a minor in torture so I could inflict pain for pain's sake. Who's been knocking over the offerings on my dark shrine? It's not the clergy again, is it? Those rapscallions are always meddling in my affairs. Boar of Babylon. Isn't she a little old to still be stuffing her bra? Some mortals simply aren't worth the time and attention it would take to bring about their downfall. To them, I say, suck you. Bye. Nice cosplay. I'm not sure what character she's supposed to be, but I can tell she did it on a budget. Who's that girl? Well, I hope she doesn't feel too bad about that <clears throat> unfortunate feature of hers. That... Insolent girl better watch her step. One never knows when a gaping hellmouth might open up right beneath their feet. I think I follow that girl on social media. Her profile makes her look like the funniest person ever. So I guess it's true what they say. You really can't believe everything you see on the internet. <laughs>